Welcome to this IFFR Afterthought. Uh, my name is Stefan Borsos. I'm the programmer for South Asia at the DCS uh, IFFR. Uh, with me uh, is the director of the film you just saw, Pebbles, uh, Mr. Vinodraj Pies, and also with us um, Amudavan Karupia, uh, who is an executive producer on the film and the first assistant uh, to, who will help us with the translation. Um, so um, we'll do the Q&A now and um, let me ask the first question. Uh, let's have a classical uh, beginning at that. Um, I would like uh, to ask the director, uh, what did inspire you to become a filmmaker in the first place? So, uh, like, like place where he comes out uh, uh, from, like there, there, there are so many shootings happening on a day-to-day -day basis. So, like he used to see those shoots and go to his work. Uh, that's how he got uh, very much influenced with cinema, and he got into this film industry. So, he, he basically wanted to do films on sea shoots happening around his village and um, did you start out with the short films or did you become an assistant director what was your way into the film industry actually Initially, he started his career as a, a short film assistant director, assisting for about eight to ten films. And then he worked for a, a couple of feature films uh, with renowned directors in the Tamil film industry. And uh, after which, he made a couple of short films and he wrote the script for Pebbles. But you said that um, the village life uh, was already part, basically, at that time. So did the Pebbles basically grow out of that environment, of that village life you wanted to portray? Okay. Uh, basically, this uh, Pebbles is heavily inspired from his uh, real life incident. Uh, he happened to uh, witness an incident in his own family. Uh, his sister was sent away uh, and she walked about uh, 10 15 kilometers uh, to his village and that incident actually uh, prompted him to write uh, a script based on this uh, this is what the basic inspiration uh, for uh, pebbles and uh, the landscape uh, came in next because he found that landscape plays a major role uh, in the script and he started uh, working on a script based on that um, regarding this kind of rural environment and uh, landscape is there something special you wanted to achieve or to aim for? Because um, Tamil cinema, you know, there are a lot, a lot of films, uh, you know, in rural places. Uh, like I saw, I think you also assisted uh, Arzar Gunam uh, uh, for one of his village uh, films uh, called Vagai Sudava. So therefore, um, is there something you, you saw that is, was lacking in these other films or you wanted to portray differently maybe? Basically, uh, he wanted to portray something, uh, I mean, which is not new, actually. Say, uh, this, uh, the depiction of a rural uh, uh, life in Tamil films uh, is quite common. However, uh, the one that he chose for is a, a kind of a, rural, a different rural setup alone, uh, not exactly the life. Uh, how do I uh, put it? Like uh, the landscape and uh, 
the, the people out there are part of his life. So he, he chose this uh, for the script. Uh, Stephen. And in a more general sense, how important is the portrayal of space for you as a filmmaker? Um, because that is, uh, has been noted already, as you mentioned it also, that the landscape, the environment is almost a, a character uh, in its own, uh, almost basically the main character of the film. So how important is the, the environment, the space in general as a filmmaker for you? இண்டிவிஜுவல் <laughs> he he actually got that inspiration uh, that uh, he believes that strongly that a behave, behavior is heavily influenced by the space around him so based on that uh, he made this landscape uh, a very important role as such in pebbles so that's the reason uh, the the landscape the sun uh, was plays a major role while writing this pebbles uh, script itself no mm. I see. Mm, let's talk about the visual approach um, to this kind of, uh, you know, landscape and everything. Um, how and why did you settle for this kind of mobile camera work? You know, if, if you look at the film um, in terms of the general Tamil film industry uh, or the Tamil cinema, then you have the kind of more commercial films and then this art house films and your film with its very peculiar visual approach also sits very much in between so why did you choose this kind of very mobile uh, camera work and the in the kadhai modala mailin which me kandipa or documentary mariyana feel vandra kudada apdinradukagave da vandu normal camera ve choose pannirundhalo or chinna camera setup le poi irundhalo short division la vandu romba clear a irukkum pakkava idu or film ah da vandu namm vandu கொடுக்கணும் அப்படின்ட்டு ஸோ ஆர்ட் டிவிஷன்ல அந்த ஸ்டேஜிங் ஆர்டிஸ்ட் ஸ்டேஜ் பண்றதுல இருந்து எல்லாத்துலயுமே வெல்லாம் முதல்ல பிளான் பண்ணி பண்ணனால ஸோ இந்த எந்த கேமரா எடுக்கணும் இல்லாம ரிகர்சல் கரெக்டான பிளான் இருந்துச்சுன்னா கண்டிப்பா அது பிலிமா தான் போய் சேரும்ன்றது தானே இதுல நாங்க இது பண்ணோம் ஒர்க் பண்ணோம் ஓகே தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஃபார்மோஸ்ட் thing is uh, he wanted to be very particular that uh, the visual approach doesn't give a documentary feel uh, to the film so uh, that's the first and first thing that that uh, he he had it in mind and uh, second thing is the use of the camera uh, which could be easily handled and moved around uh, is that he wanted uh, the the viewers also to be part of the uh, film as such he wanted them to be uh, a, a direct witness to the incidents happening uh, in the film so he had that approach in mind and that is the reason he used this uh, uh, mobile camera work throughout the film which which he believes that uh, has made it into a complete film and and under short divisions also he worked on that the the character staging and the rehearsals everything was made in you know was, was planned uh, well in advance and that is how we went ahead with the shoot and he brought out this visual approach uh, mm, i see i see and how about that long take sequence um uh, which is quite amazing i mean how did you achieve that and can you talk about the logistics behind it especially in such a smaller budget film to try and achieve this okay and the and the scene ke adu thevai pattuchu and the scene vandu cut shot ah poi irundhomna adu vandu adoda mulu emotional convey aaga poi irukumondrala so adu lengthy take ah irukano or single take ah irukano mudiyum pannitom single shot ah irukano undu அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து ஃபுல்லா அந்த ஆர்டிஸ்ட் எல்லாத்துக்கும் ஒரு ஒரு ஆறு நாள் வந்து ரிகர்சல் ஃபுல்லா கொடுத்து அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து எல்லாரும் தயாரானதுக்கு அப்புறம் வந்து த்ரீ டேஸ்ல ஷூட் பண்ணி முடிச்சோம் ரெண்டாவது நாளே ஓகே டேக் வந்துருச்சு பட் இன்னொன்னு இன்னொரு நாளும் நாங்க எக்ஸ்ட்ராவும் ஒரு நாள் ஷூட் பண்ணோம் ஸோ அதை விட பெட்டரா இருந்தோம் வருமான்னு சிங்கிள் டேக் வந்து பண்ணது வந்து அந்த எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் அப்படிதான் இதாச்சு 
Okay. While writing this script, uh, he decided that uh, this has to be a single take because uh, he wanted the rage of that character and the emotions of the characters involved uh, has to I mean cannot be uh, broken by different shots. So he wanted that to be a single shot in the first place while writing the script. Uh, while shooting, uh, before uh, going on to the actual shot of that uh, scene, he had done about uh, six days of rehearsal for that particular scene. So six days of rehearsal was done for that scene. And then he moved on to uh, you know, two days of uh, uh, shoot with the camera. And finally, he shot uh, on the third day. But then he wasn't convinced with that. And he went ahead with two more takes. And final take was actually uh, on, on the third day or so uh of the shoot so that is how that happened uh, and it was quite challenging as well uh, to you know make the people act for the same thing quite repeatedly for six days and getting the final shot done but uh, on seeing the output everybody were happy um did you actually work with uh, non-professional actors uh, mostly um, or where did you find your actors basically and um you know especially you're doing this such a challenging work uh, with this kind of camera movements and this kind of one uh, take sequence. Um, how did they cope with that? ஆனாலும்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்ரம்
so it was a challenge for the director and the crew to get rid of the fear that they have or uh, the thought that they have in mind while appearing in front of the camera for all the actors so he wanted to get rid of that first and uh, it it happened over a period of you uh, know over a over, uh, you know, period of time where with uh, lim uh, regular rehearsals and stuff and finally he, he was able to get rid of all the fear from the actors and uh, he managed to bring in the emotions that he wanted uh, for the film so that is how we got it done uh, um i think the film was at least in a first version finished in uh, 2019 already and shown at uh, the film bazaar a film market um so what was the journey you know uh, from there um until then uh, until the selection um, of rotterdam can you talk about this அப்பதான் <laughs> அவரை வந்து நாங்கள் அங்கே வந்து வந்து அவரை சந்தித்தோம் அவர்கிட்ட நாங்கள் ரொம்ப வாலண்டியராக போய் நாங்கள் டெய்லர் போட்டு காட்டினோம் ஸோ டெய்லர் பார்த்ததுலேருந்து அவர் அப்புறம் வந்து எடுத்துகிட்டு நிறைய இடத்துக்கு கூப்பிட்டு போனார் ஸோ அடுத்த இப்போ வந்து ஸோ சென்னைக்கு வந்துட்டு சென்னையில் இருக்க இங்கே இருக்க செலிப்ரிட்டிஸ் எல்லாத்துலேயும் படத்தை போட்டு காட்டுறது ரொம்ப காரணமாக இருந்தார் அவர் தான் அப்புறம் மியூசிக் யுவன் சங்கராஜா உள்ள கூட்டியாந்தது அவர் தான் ஸோ அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து ப்ரொடக்ஷனை உள்ள கொண்டாந்து இப்போ ரவுல் பிக்சர்ஸ் வரைக்கும் வந்த வரைக்கும் பாக்கிங் <laughs> <laughs> for their feedback and they wanted to meet a few more uh, festival curators and uh, you know other organizers uh, so when they went there uh, they they had interaction with those people and uh, they had a fair idea about uh, uh, the industry I mean the, the festival as such and uh, during that time um, he happened to meet uh, director ram from tamil cinema and uh, uh, he actually saw the uh, trailer and uh, he he was very impressed with the work and he wanted uh, uh, to guide them along and uh, he brought them uh, to chennai and uh, made the necessary corrections and uh, we we went ahead and uh, you know uh, presented the, made some corrections with regard to editing and stuff and then uh, the director wanted uh, a music director uh, for a limited music to be put in the film so he got uh, yuvan shankar raja on board Uh, who was very glad to be part of uh, such film and after which uh, the journey is like uh, after the completion of the film we had some private screening for uh, some of the leading directors in tamil cinema and leading actors in tamil cinema and they are very supportive and they are very encouraging for the film and uh, uh, like uh, after film bazaar like uh, this rowdy pictures also joined hands and made uh, you know uh, made sure that the film is completed uh, perfectly and the journey has been very productive and uh, very fruitful so far uh, and hoping for some bigger things to happen if not for corona like we ex- we, we believe uh, something you know really big would have happened with the flow so then have our last question um and that would be do we have anything to say um to the uh, rotterdam audience to the people who see the film is there a certain manage- message you want to get out to the people to the international audience what do you want to say okay okay well, but the india in uh, indian film nale bollywood film ana avangala culture avangala idha really exposure aagudhu so adha thanna marathi film bengal film kerala karnataka tamil nadu so ipdi illa nariya other language films irukku so adhu mari idha nam kondu poi ellathu seekano appadi nenichu indha padatha first festival mood la nanga try pannirukom ஸோ படம் நாங்கள் எதிர்பார்த்த மாதிரி ரொம்ப எளிமையாக அங்கே எங்கள் ஊர் வெயில் எங்கள் ஊர் மக்கள் எங்கள் ஊர் லேண்ட்ஸ்கேப்பு இதை வந்து அதில் அழகாக பிரதிபலிச்சுன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஸோ படத்தை பாருங்கள் பார்த்துட்டு சொல்லுங்கள் the normal uh, thought of mind for them is bollywood it's it has been always about bollywood uh, worldwide 
uh, but then Indian film industry is not just Bollywood, but then there are several industries in India, like Tamil film industry, Malayalam, Kannada, Telugu, Marathi, Bengali, and so many other industries are there. Uh, every uh, language, they, they get in their own culture, own landscape, and own set of people, and they give away films to world cinema, uh, and they wanted to convey their story to the world, and uh, that is uh, one effort that uh, the director has done through Pebbles. Uh, he wanted to uh, portray the life that he has seen, that he has grown up with, and uh, that uh, the landscape that he has grown up uh, around. So he wanted to present that to the world cinema and the uh, world cinema audience. Uh, so that's the thing that he has tried through Pebbles. And he, uh, the director believes that uh, the audience would like his film. And he also believes that uh, uh, these stories could have happened or could be happening elsewhere around the world too. In some corner of the world, it could happen too. If it's not just in Tamil Nadu, it has happened. It could be happening elsewhere too. So he just wants to portray that and he just wants to present it to the audience out here. And uh, he sincerely believes that uh, the audience would uh, love the film and they would provide their support to the film as such. And uh, if at all any feedback, he would be he would he would have loved to be there in person to listen to the feedbacks from the audience. But unfortunately, like uh, like whatever feedback is, uh, he 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 would uh, really appreciate it to hear it from the audience directly. You know, in whatever ways they can. True. And thank you for, for this uh, wonderful watching film. The film. Yeah, thank you very much for this wonderful film. Thanks for your time, Director thank Virodraj uh, Amudavan, for translating. Um, thank you, thank so, you. So, yeah. Then, it's a great pleasure, uh, Stephen. <laughs> thank you very much. And then, uh, we are really honored to have our uh, world premiere at uh, Rotterdam. Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, the only concern has been like we are not able to be there personally. But then, we are glad that people are having the, the team, the IFR team is working uh, tremendously to make sure that uh, the film reaches. Uh, the audience and uh, we really appreciate uh, the effort and the time that uh, the people at IFFR are putting in. Uh, and thanks to the IFFR team for doing so. And uh, uh, we look forward uh, for more feedbacks from the audience. You know.